There's a kind of a ghostly quality to it and a attractive, revolting duality that, you know, was important to me. The, the sculpture we're talking about, the coyote with pups, uh, is made of more or less the same material that everything in the show is, which is about three materials. There's uh, industrial felt, dyed felt, which is you know re real wool, charred wood, which is just like it sounds, is actual wood construction, and then burnt and then kind of stabilized so it doesn't fall apart. And then a resin mixture, which is kind of a homemade formula, but it's more or less plastic with some glass and graphite embedded in it. Both in the coyote and pups and also the other animal life cycle piece, the drawing of the two hairs. You know, there was something uh, puerile, you know, and funny to me, but part of that was also confronting, you know, the idea of what is more natural about, you know, the representation of animals than the reproductive cycle. And so in this show, uh, the, the drawing of the two hairs is kind of the first, maybe only straight up art history reference I'll probably ever do, but there's a, a drawing I just love that's uh, by Albert Durer from, you know, early 1600, 1609 or something. And um, it's of a hair, but that period of Dutch naturalism was, historically uh, a pivot away from the religious iconography and, and kind of the start of when natural imagery began to displace that or became one of the focuses. Part of it was just like, uh, like a cover band, you know, you want to just do your take of something you love, but then part of that was also then adding a layer uh, on top of it with the uh, copulation. You know, turning nature into kitsch is, you know, one of the things that's ignored is, is that kind of stuff, the, the really rough edges. And same with the coyote birth, there's something just so pathos ridden and, and, you know, just exhausting about if you've ever seen a dog giving birth. You know, I actually played with facial expressions for quite some time. Dogs, when they're exhausted, which of course coyotes are basically the same build as dogs almost smile, they get funny folds that humans would associate with smiling, but it's, it's very different in animals. But uh, that was, I don't know, something that I have always been kind of charmed by um, because of its pathos. And uh, it was something that I was interested in exploring.